We need to cultivate the ability to hold two contradicting truths simultaneously. For existence is beautifully painted with irony and paradoxes. And the best revelations don't only come in the form of new information, but also confirmation. And the best revelations are twofold. It's by letting go that we get what we've always had. Being humble enough to realize that we know nothing allows us to be guided to the truth. And if you've discovered or experienced truth, to hold on to it and to keep it safe from contamination of thought or opinions. Truth doesn't change, doesn't disappear, doesn't require to be seen or heard. It's always there in a constant state of never-ending waiting. And if you keep hold of it, one day you will return to it. Like a familiar feeling, like a homecoming to a natural state of being, a return to knowing. Confirmation that the most reliable and constant things within the universe is contained within the invisible and hidden within plain sight. And no matter how crazy something sounds, all truths become obvious the moment you become aware of them. Nature prevails and we are nature. Just like clouds move from place to place by the command of invisible winds maintaining a constant order of nature for God's essence to become manifested in the form of rain somewhere. We are houses that contain that same essence and form part of that same order. And to become aware of this is to realize that the biggest purpose we could have is to step aside and to become empty of ego and become just like that cloud, ready to be moved into place by the magnificent order of all that is. Courage isn't taking control of life. Courage isn't releasing it to something formless and unseen, to the connectedness, not what's around you, but the glue in between. Because what makes a house a home? It's the constant satisfaction and joy for no reason, for just being there. And if we house even a small essence of divinity within us, may we turn our houses into homes.